We left Georgetown and motor sailed with a flotilla of boats to Thompson Bay, Long Island. Once the kitties were settled, we started on our maintenance tasks. While removing the zinc, um, I sheared it off. So the zinc is stuck in the heat exchange now. We need to replace it with the new one. But in order to put the new one in, uh, we need the zinc to come out. So we have to take the end cap off. And we were worried that we didn't have the, we wouldn't be able to replace the gasket. But fortunately for us, uh, Doug, the previous owner, was very meticulous and we have a spare with us. Gasket number two on the list. Her keeps helping. <laughs> Next, we're doing the transmission oil. We've emptied her and we're going to fill her up. This was our previous handheld radio, but the waterproofness wasn't as waterproof as we would have expected. And salt water got in, destroyed the batteries, uh, wrecked a few terminals. Our good friends on Genabird helped us clean her up. We bought some new batteries for her, not rechargeable, so we'll give her a go and see if she can, still works. Okay, moment of truth. nothing. A brand new radio which is submersible as opposed to just waterproof. But I kind of assumed that waterproof meant submersible because how else would you get the water to it? The next day we participated in the Long Island Cruisers Rally. The first event was the conch race, where participants had to wind a string around a wooden dowel. Cats Away placed first in their heat, followed closely by Buddy Boat Jennibird. One of the stops in the rally was the Hamilton Caves, a five-acre network filled with stalactites, stalagmites, bats, and bat poop. Thank you. 
These caves were used as natural hurricane shelters. Dean's Blue Hole is the second deepest saltwater blue hole in the world at 663 feet. However, we were unable to swim down to verify. Greg made it about 20 feet down, whereas I only made it about 8 feet. But try going down instead of across. Multiple free diving records have been set here and there is a platform in the middle for divers. This island's windward beaches unfortunately collect a lot of floating debris. Very little of the trash is local. Identifiable pieces were from the Eastern Caribbean and South America. Garbage is hard to contain in coastal regions subject to hurricanes and high winds. There were trash bins and containers available for people to place beach trash. There's always something going on in the Bahamas, and this night it was Long Island's Mutton Festival. We enjoyed some delicious mutton curry and bohemian culture. A snake lived here. This cotton plantation was granted to Mr. Adderley in 1790. The buildings have now succumbed to the harsh island conditions and persistent vegetation. Next, we visited Columbus Monument at the northern tip of the island. Long Island is said to be the third island discovered by Columbus in 1492.
Sunday on Long Island and the bay is like glass. So much so that uh, our anchor chain is actually behind us. There's not enough wind to keep us going straight. But I can see even from here that our anchor has a good set, so we'll be okay in this day of non-wind. We took advantage of the calm conditions to motor up to Calabash Bay. There is an incredible beach with a large sandbar just north of Cape Santa Maria Resort. We explored the soft white sand and crystal clear water while challenging ourselves to swim across the strong current. Katsaway has gotten a lot of growth while in the warm bohemian waters. Fortunately for us, she has a very shallow draft which makes cleaning the bottom easy. Herky gets distressed when he sees us okay. in the water, so he keeps an eye on us. Okay. You a little worried? Cats Away has such a shallow draft that we often walk on the anchor instead of swimming on it. With her rudders down, she draws two and a half feet, but once they're lifted, she only needs 18 inches, making her the perfect boat for the shallow waters of the Bahamas. We ended our visit in Long Island looking for the mythical green flash after a beautiful sunset. We had officially crossed into the tropics in Long Island, having passed the Tropic of Cancer. Long Island was also the halfway mark for our trip. This was a bittersweet moment for us. From this point forward, we would be northbound, heading back home to Canada. Thank you everyone who contacted us with drive leg and engine suggestions. We appreciated all the helpful advice. We're still on the lookout for this green flash. Chime in below if you've seen it. Thanks for watching.